Zakynthos Greece. Is that you? <laughs> it, it is smelly, are you sure? Wow. Wow. Yamas! Yamas! Good afternoon from Zakynthos, Greece, the third largest of the Ionian Islands and the first of the Ionian Islands that we have visited on this one month trip around the beautiful country of Greece. After a couple of days exploring Athens, we jumped on a flight with Sky Express to Zakynthos and definitely fly here. It was like a one hour flight. The smallest plane that we have ever flown on. We even got to go in the business lounge. Well, this is a little bit of all right. It turns out if you book a domestic flight with Sky Express, it seems you get lounge access with all you can drink beer and all you can eat snacks. Rather than a five hour bus journey followed by a ferry. Just fly, it's easier, it's quicker. It's pretty much the same price, but it is the first of November. The season has ended, so we are staying in Zakynthos town where all the locals live, around 10,000 of them. So all the bars and restaurants are open, but as the season has ended, you get all the beautiful beaches, supposedly the best beaches in Greece, all to yourself. It's 24 degrees and it's the 1st of November. The town is actually really beautiful and we are unbelievably lucky with the weather. This island was never on our plan. We weren't gonna come here, but when we saw the weather being this good for November, we couldn't miss the opportunity to come here. And actually a lot of the tour companies are closed as the season is ended. Lots of things have closed, um, but luckily we are going on a tour with Explore Zakynthos. We have a private tour. So we're exploring explore the north. Zakynthos. We are very excited. Explore Zakynthos. <laughs> Let's go to the north. Welcome. Hey. Welcome to Zakynthos. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. I'm Welcome nice to, to meet you. Thank How are you? you? I'm very well. Is How everything okay? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Look at this weather. It's amazing. The views up through the villages overlooking the coast, they're just amazing. We have met our guide Ruby and we have driven to the north side of the island of Zakynthos and it stinks. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this beach we're about to go to is? This is amazing, I need to get down. It really is stinking but this is Jigia beach and that smell that we can smell is sulfur from the caves that are right next to the beach. Supposedly, if you swim in this beach, it is really, really good for your skin. And in the summer, you can't even get a spot on the tiny beach. There are two people that I can see below. I'm gonna be looking younger after this place. Is that you? <laughs> it it is, is smelly, are you sure? It is proper stinking, but it's beautiful. The water actually feels like silky, and apparently it has collagen in it. So we might come out of here looking, looking better better and 10 years younger but our guide Ruby actually told us that when the restaurants are open they transport things and food up and down in a very interesting way it's so cool so when the customer orders we place here a basket with the goods like uh, coffees and everything and then we roll this down and all the way right down the end the customer puts the money in takes his things and we bring the basket right up How am I looking? Am I looking 10 years younger? That was such a cool little spot. It's only about a 30 minute drive from Zakynthos town and a great stop on your way to the most famous beach in all of Greece and one of the most famous beaches in all of Europe. The best thing about Zakynthos, you can park, go to the beach and leave everything open. <laughs> all right, we're stopping. Neutral in the car, legs off the gear, and we're going backwards. Oh my what? gosh! What magnetic field is making the car reverse? This, this is ridiculous. That was the most unique road I have ever been on. They actually don't know why 
there's a magnetic force that can push you backwards. They've had researchers come to research the magnetic energy that's in the area, but no one knows why. But we have now made it to the viewpoint to look at the most famous beach in all of Greece, the famous shipwreck beach. And a lot has actually changed this year and over the last couple of years. There used to be an area that you could walk to behind me, round there, up in all the greenery, but there's been too many incidents where people aren't being safe enough. So now you just have the platform to check it out. And the platform, I would say, is so much better, especially with the only ones here. Wow. Wow. This water is honestly some of the bluest that I have ever seen. It actually looks fake. It, it looks, looks like it someone looks photoshopped and yeah. just around there is the famous beach. Just around here is the tiny little beach, the little cove um, with the famous shipwreck on it. And I think there's only one other boat down there at the minute. So I can't wait to get down there. We're going to be very lucky. Look at this, the bluest water you're ever going to see and these huge 200 meter great cliffs and just down there is the shipwreck and the most untouched impeccable beach you're ever going to see. So imagine being here in August, it's about 42 to 43 degrees. The lineup starts right up from the house, right down there, and they have to come right here. Everybody's taking the pictures and it takes ages in the heat. And we ages. literally have the whole walkway, the whole viewpoint. I'm going to keep saying it, we're just very lucky right now. Yamas! 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 We have made it to Porto Vromi. We have our boat and Ruby is actually our captain as well. Uh, so, of course. Can you believe that the place where you take the boat from is equally as beautiful? It's got like a tiny shop to buy drinks and a lovely little beach. And it's just the most beautiful cove. The watercolour is unreal I could just stay everywhere. here all day. Yeah. funnest bit of all accessing the shipwreck beach is only possible by boat I think that adds to the mystery of the place and I mean the water just it just keeps getting better oh my god are you Here ready to see the shipwreck it's coming three two Ta -da! wow that is insane that. wow and there's two other boats. Crazy. Have you ever seen anything quite like this? Probably not, because if you have been here, you've probably been here in August and there were a hundred other boats. There are two other boats. You have the most beautiful turquoise water and then the centerpiece right there in the middle of the beach, the shipwreck. Wow. I think this could be the best beach we've ever been to. This is insane. Ruby has just dropped us off and we're on the white pebbly beach and there is the shipwreck. The shipwreck. And it's so cool. It is, there's, there's three other people here. We now have the entirety of this beach to ourselves. This is like almost unheard of. I was it's about to say it feels insane. like a scene out of shipwreck. <laughs> there is a shipwreck no, right there, there. There genuinely is a shipwreck and um, unfortunately a lot of the shipwreck is actually sort of eroding. They say um, two, three more years it might not be here anymore. So I'm using that word again. We're very lucky. So the story of this shipwreck goes back to 1983 when the ship Panayotis was smuggling cigarettes. They got caught and then they got chased and it caused the ship 
to shipwreck. But at the time, it wasn't actually a beach. Over the years, these colossal cliffs have eroded and caused this beautiful, beautiful beach. And just being here on our own, just, just look at this. Just have a look, look at that watercolor. The watercolor, the ship, the monolithic cliffs. I think it is the best beach I've ever been to. I had a list, I had a top three, but I think this is going in at number one. Just look at this thing, rusting away, and apparently there was a storm last year, so you lost a big portion of it here in the middle, and like they say, maybe two or three years left. So get to Zakynthos, get to Zanti while you can, and appreciate this beauty. The only downside of this beach is that it is extremely painful because of all of the pebbles and stones um, until you get to this bit. only a bit of sand. Oh my god, it's like amazing sand Are we as well. swimming? We're swimming. We're swimming. <laughs> as if <laughs> that is cold. It is November and I am swimming in the sea in Europe. Of a ship, come on! Once you jump, well, I, I promise you, once you jump in, it is fine. It's calm. Oh, you're ruining it. You can't come to a beach like this and not swim. If no. you do, you, you were never here. No, I'm here. Molly was never here. It was just me and old Sandy the shipwreck. Yamas. Yamas. Cheers to the shipwreck. This is our pistachio liqueur that we actually got from Ayana. It um, feels right to open it here. Yeah, it's coming handy, so cheers. I would say keep you warm, but I've noticed it's... How is it? Is it good? <laughs> Strong? I've noticed that the sea, even though we're not in the sun, is warmer than the sea in the cyclades. It's cold at first, but after that, once you get over it, it's alright. And that Do you feel is like absolutely a pirate? delicious. I feel like a pirate. I might as well have crashed the ship. Hold, that face didn't tell me delicious. No, now, now it's delicious. One more, go on, one more. That is not a delicious face. Ah. Yamas. Yamas. Woo. From nice. the shipwreck beach, we have made it back into Zakynthos town and we've come for dinner at Para Dothiako, which is like a Greek fusion restaurant and I, this is so fancy of me today, I have got a porn star martini. I never know whether to pour the Prosecco in or shot it, it's a controversial thing. Such a great cocktail. Um, there's just too much to choose from on this menu, I could feel we're going to have a few dishes. <laughs> like this and we just put it in our mouth. Is that true? I've been doing it wrong my whole entire life. You just pick up the food, put it in your mouth and eat it. But what a setting. I'm sat underneath a lime tree and we're doing it the Greek way. We have so many different dishes. We have a meze and they basically look too good to eat. I don't even know what to start with. The bruschetta with the olives look amazing. You have the saganaki prawns. You have the village salad and this just looks so appealing like i said it's a complete fusion on different dishes so this is feta and honey wrapped in vermicelli noodles just look at this goodness like i said too good to eat but you're eating it anyway wow it's so different so you've got the sweetness of the honey mm, the saltiness of the feta and then the crunch the vermicelli noodles how is that just a starter? This looks amazing. This is Penny Lee and it's basically a pastry with all traditional products on it. I'm gonna stab the egg. Are you ready? Yeah, go on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my God, absolute just heaven. We can, this call, is... it, we can call it the Greek pizza. Yeah, this is just giving me like slight anxiety though because there's like so much and I have no idea what what I'm doing. Look at this, it's just absolutely dripping. I'm doing it the Greek way, fingers and all. <laughs> We've got some beef, we've got some egg, we've got some veg. I mean, it's like cheesy, eggy, hearty, meaty goodness. This just keeps getting better. I've just realised that they do Levante, the Zanti Lager, a Zaklinthos craft 
beer. And so far, I feel like we've done pretty well in finding a craft beer from every Greek island, but this is a unfiltered pale lager. And I have a thing for unfiltered lagers at the moment. I feel like they're a little bit extra hoppy, if that makes any sense. It's good. It's actually not that hoppy. It's actually it's actually quite a mild lager. You could drink you could drink this all day long. Good morning. I am extremely full this morning in Zakynthos. That food last night was just incredible. And so is this island as a whole. I'm in love with the place. The north, the beaches, the coves, having the shipwreck all to ourselves. The risk of coming in November has definitely definitely paid off this isn't like shoulder season the season's ended so we're getting amazing weather on amazing beaches all to ourselves, and that wouldn't be possible without one man and that is Ruby he is so much fun so much fun that we ended up having dinner with him last night because he is just great we will link all of his details below explore Zakynthos if you want to explore Zakynthos properly and we do have one more day or two more days to explore Zakynthos because there is so much to do on this island. We're going to hopefully get some islands to ourselves. It's November and it's 25 degrees. We'll see you in the next one.